West Ham fan TV, Dan Lawless here outside St. James's Park. Here with Harry, West Ham United 3 0 Newcastle. I've got it wrong around. Who cares? What a game, mate. What a game. What a game. I mean, I don't think I've ever been to Newcastle away and seen us win at all. I so can't three... remember the last time we have. No, I can't. So 3 0, what a result, what a game. Um, yeah, yeah, we played well. We played well. We can't knock it. Nah, unbelievable. I mean, it was. I thought it was like pretty end to end game. There was times where I was bloody nervous. Like we gave away possession quite a bit. We did, we did. But that said, I think the two at the back. I think Diop and Balbuena have shown something that we've not seen in a while, and that's a bit of a, you know, a bit of a, a strength, a bit of captaincy, and, and and Mark Noble held them together really well. Zabaleta coming to his own 30 minutes in. Um, but no, I think defensively we did all right. I think we could have come unstuck against a, a slightly better team. I think Newcastle have. You know, have, have clearly dropped off. That said, they've they've unbeaten in four and won the last three, yeah. but they didn't look great today. No, nah, their finishing I thought was shocking. Definitely worse, worse than ours. I, I don't think you can rely on Rondon. I don't. Yeah. I don't think you can rely. He's too. Yeah, he, he's hit and miss. But um, we take hats off to West Ham. We, yeah. we, we played well. We played now, really well. Two goals for Hernandez. How do you feel about Hernandez? He's got the two goals. He's. he's He's, he's, some fans slate him, some fans love him. Like He's got the two guys. How do you feel about him? I think he's got to play in the two. I don't think it's his fault. I think you play him on his own up front and, and he gets lost a little bit. You know, mm. He played well for Mexico in the World Cup on his own, but I don't think West Ham have got the team to support him. When he plays two, he played an out of it with him today yeah. and he's got two goals. Um, Carroll fit. I think you play Carroll and, and Hernandez and, and out of it had a little bit of an off day. Um, you know, so maybe that's that's to do with the rumours. But other than that, I, I would I would give I'd give Hernandez a, a partner, and I think I, I'd keep him. I wouldn't I want to yeah. see him go nowhere. And Felipe Anderson, slow start to the season. Now nah, he's really coming into his own. See, Anderson for me has been it was the biggest win for today, and, and over the last three games, he, he's been he's been fantastic for the last three games. Man of the match for me today, um, and yeah, and he deserved his goal. I'm so glad he got his goal at the end because he did a lot defensively which he usually lacks in. There was a couple of times he got caught, but every ball, every through ball, every pass he did today went to, to where it should have gone. So for me, Anderson's man in the match. Great game. Now, we've got this is a big month this month, starting with Cardiff. How do you feel about the Cardiff game? What do you reckon? Yeah, it's just West Ham. It's West Ham, you, it's West Ham isn't it? You don't, you don't. For me, I think, yeah, it's, it's a winner for us. Pellegrini's got him buzzing. Pellegrini's got him going. Will, good to see Wilshere come back. I'd, I'd sit him in the middle and play a little bit more attacking. And we was right to go two today. I mean, Newcastle, weren't, you know, are a team to be beat, and we and we, we did well by going on the attack. And I, if we do that with Cardiff, I think we'll win. I think we'll, yeah, I think we'll do two on the bounce. Brilliant. Well, you know, I'm looking forward to it. But tonight we're going to celebrate. <laughs> we're going to enjoy it, mate. Have, a, night, Have a good one. Come on, you <laughs> Irish.